blast of electricity <laughs> shoots the bullet at over 5,000 miles per hour. So this is going to be highly controlled current flow. Just like starting up a nuclear reactor uses highly controlled neutron multiplication. And it can hit a target 100 miles away. The incredible force can punch through steel, destroying an enemy ship in a split second. So the kinetic energy is immense even without explosives. But real naval targets are compartmentalized and designed to absorb damage. So it would be devastating, but I wouldn't guarantee this thing to instantly sink a ship. You see, to shoot it, electricity moves through the rails and metal holding the bullet. This creates a strong magnet. Is that an American flag on it? Big field, which pushes the bullet down the barrel at incredible speed. Good old Lawrence force at work. Continuous acceleration from the electromagnetic interaction between the rails, current, and magnetic field. Kind of like how control rods in a reactor shape the overall neutron flux. But the gun uses a huge amount of power. Too much for any ship to carry. That's not true. Nuclear reactors on an aircraft carrier have more than enough power. The problem is power pulsing. Delivering tens of megajoules in milliseconds is challenging. Also, the rails will erode after a few shots, and those materials struggle to dump waste heat fast enough. More of a material science problem than a power problem. Which means it's trapped at the test range. How sad.